Welcome to the special edition of the Russell Brown Show, where I'm going to demonstrate a nostalgic look back in time at an application we created here on the iPhone. It's Photoshop 1.07, developed by my friends at Anska Mobile with a great application that they have called Corona. We put this together as an experiment to see if this were possible. It's not available on the Apple website. Okay, let's give it a try. I'm going to click here, right here on this icon, this original icon, just like that. Did you hear that? It was the sound of the Macintosh starting. Cool. Now all I do here, as you can see on this startup screen, is I can go over here and click on this icon right over here. It's called Open Photo, right there. It then accesses all my images here on my iPhone. And in this case, I'm going to open up this image of Jennifer in Paradise, the very first image that I saw John Knoll demo at Adobe Systems. I click on the screen, and up comes Levels. That's right, the original Levels, and I can click and drag and move it around on the screen. It acts and behaves just like the original. Now I'm going to move this over here to the left so I can see my image. And of course with Levels, I can go in here and adjust any of these settings by clicking here on the white point and making an adjustment and moving it back. I can select, of course, on the black point or even the midpoint and make adjustments. In this case, I'm setting this to master, but I can also go in and select the individual channels. In this case, the red, the green, or the blue. Now, I want to do some adjustments to the green channel. Selecting it and then select the midpoint, I can then warm up the image by sliding it here to the right. That's simple. I then click OK. But wait! I can also go back in and make further adjustments by clicking again, making adjustments, or just selecting the Cancel button as I'm going to in this case because I don't want to make any more adjustments. Then, just like on the Macintosh, you click in the upper left hand corner to close the image. You can then save it and it's saving it as a completely different copy. Now check this out if you want to know more about Anska Mobile and Corona, right down here you can select About Corona. By doing so, it will take you to this Anska Mobile website where you can learn more information about Corona, the application we use to create this nostalgic look back at Photoshop 1.0 here on the iPhone. Keep in mind, this application is not available on the iTunes Store. Thanks again for attending The Russell Brown Show.